Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today's video, I wanna share with you a newest addition to my collection, which is the Dior Beauty Makeup and Travel Pouch. So let's get to it. So this is a Christian Dior or Dior Beauty Makeup Pouch or Travel Bag. You may see it a lot when it comes to Dior Beauty, Pinterest, or Instagram. I just noticed this or I just caught my eye on this early this year and I think this is a really cute item. So as I said, you might notice this on Dior Beauty unboxings because sometimes people will get this as free or complimentary because they bought a certain amount of items on the Dior Beauty website or they may get it because of they are a rewards member or you can buy this on its own but to buy it on its own, it is limited edition. But if I do find a link for it, I will put it in the description box. So this is what it looks like. It's a pink and purple color. I would say it's a Liliac color combined, but it's definitely more pink than purple. I will insert um more shots of it in the video. So if it is coming off purple on the screen, it is more of a pink color, but pink than purple, but you'll see more in shots in the video. So in the front, it says Christian Dior, which is a CD logo. And then on the side, you can see it has silver hardware. And then the zipper itself, it says Dior. And on the other side, once again, you have the silver hardware. On the back, it is blank. And on the bottom is also blank as well. So there is no feet. When it comes to the texture of the pouch, it is soft and kind of squishy, but it does go back to holding its shape and stretcher, which is good because I am a stretcher type of girl. I love all my bags to have stretcher to it. Um, The texture itself, it is soft, but it's not like a furry or pillow type or softer type of feeling. I'll put a picture on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. It is soft, but it's not like a furry or teddy bear. One thing that you might notice if you are subscribed to my channel or if you watch videos, if you have watched some of my videos before, you can tell that this is actually a great alternative and comparison to my Louis Vuitton Nice Nano, which I will show you. So here is my Louis Vuitton Nice Nano. This is a toiletry bag or makeup bag from Louis Vuitton. I do have many videos on this item. So if you want to see more, definitely check out my channel. So like I said, you can see this is a great comparison between the two. Um, the Nice Nano from Louis Vuitton is a bit taller, but when it comes to the shape, I think it's very similar. So as you can see, it's very similar when it comes to the shape and just the idea of a mini um, makeup pouch or travel bag. It's really similar. And I didn't notice that at first when I was, you know, eyeing this item and wanting to get it. Um, I just saw it as like a small mini makeup pouch travel bag. But when I got it and I looked at my niece Nano, I was like, wow, they are very similar in size. So yes, the Dior Beauty is a great comparison for the Louis Vuitton Nice Nano. You can see it, the size and the shape is quite similar. And both items are really small, but trust me, don't let it fool you. As I said, I have videos on what can fit. So the price is completely different. So you're definitely going to be saving a lot more money. Denise Nano, I believe, is over $1,000. I will put the price on the screen. And for the Dior Beauty Pouch, as I said, because it's limited edition, your eater can get it free. So when you buy a certain amount of items or if you're a Dior Rewards Program member or if you buy it by itself, um, I think I spent like $65. It was less than $100. And it came with a pouch and a few um, samples. So it's completely cheaper than a Louis Vuitton. And also, I still think that it fits the luxury um, SOG or small letter good. I see this as luxury because it is 100% authentic. It's from Dior. It's from Christian Dior. So this is a great alternative if you want your first luxury makeup and travel pouch. But you are definitely on a budget, but you still want it to be 100% authentic, 100% legit. I definitely recommend this. It's definitely kind of low maintenance, so you don't have to worry too much compared to Denise Nano. If you do want me to do a comparison, please comment down below. I will do so. I did a short comparison on my Instagram story. So yeah, I think these two will be really great to compare. 
for a future video. Here is what the inside looks like. So you have a pale pink. There is no zipper or pocket on the inside. It's Dior Beauty right there on the tag. And then to show you, I can fit my entire hand inside of the Dior pouch. So look, that's almost my entire hand, a little bit of my wrist. So yeah, this can definitely fit a lot. And I'm going to share that with you. So let me grab some items. Wallet. So this is my Chanel card hole wallet. So this is what it looks like compared to the size. And I'm going to put it inside and that fits as well. So this is great if you want to use this at the clutch. So maybe put this inside of your purse or your bag. That would be great. And then here is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I also use this as a wallet and both of them fit inside. So if you want to use this as a clutch for your bag or, you know, and something additional for travel, if you have your Chanel card holder and if you have a Louis Vuitton key pouch or anything similar to that size, both of them does fit inside the Dior pouch. So that's great to know. Fragrance bottle. This is from Victoria's Secret. It's called Dream Angel. So as you can see, this is taller than the Dior Beauty pouch. But I'm still curious to see if this type of size or shape will fit inside a Dior Beauty pouch. So let's try that out. So I'm going to angle it. And wow, it fits inside. I do have to angle it, but it does fit. Let me see if I can close it. Um, close. So it does stretch out, which can hurt the shape of the pouch. But it's still... Well, but you can kind of push it more in the middle so it's not stretching out too much. It still stretches out a little bit on this side, but when I did push it more, it kind of makes it more even. But I think that's really cool that that tall bottle does fit. And there's still some room in the back because you can see that I'm squishing it. And then you can also put more stuff on the top or just on the back how i said because there's additional more room so most likely i'm not going to put this entire on um, perfume bottle inside of the pouch but it's still good to know that if i need to something like this does fit inside the dior booty pouch and i don't think it could even fit inside my niece nano i actually never tried i think it could but perfume bottle can fit inside is because of the texture because this is so soft um i think that helps with the flexibility of this dior pouch compared to how my niece nano is more structured so that makes it more limited but because this is more soft it's more flexible so i think that's really cool um a great addition to have about this item so yes this can fit inside of the dior beauty pouch new dior um perfume i will do a video on this so you can see the comparison i'll make it a little bit bigger and i'm gonna put it inside and it does fit inside so this is great if you don't have a perfume traveler and you need to actually put your full perfume inside it does fit face roller i like to have this so let's put it inside and it does fit eyebrow products they are tall but it still fits inside really well this is new it is the cocoa butter formula with vitamin e my lip mask this is strawberry overnight honey infused beauty bomb i just did a video on this item so definitely check it out Her lip oil i did do a video on the lip oil so definitely check it out as well chanel beauty um compact mirror it is a double side so that means it has two mirrors i also have a video on this as well fits well chanel lip product this is a lip balm my dior lip oil um hand lotion this is from victoria's secret it's lavender vanilla so once again here is a comparison it's taller than the pouch so let's see and once again that does fit glass nail file these are my um natural nails so i always like to have my nail care essentials with me you have to angle it a little bit, but it still fits. Um, cuticle oil, this is from Sally Hansen, and it has vitamin E, so it's on top of this. And I think I'm done, so let's zip her up. And there she goes.
everything fits it is heavy for sure but i love how this is still like um squishy like there's not um items that are piling on top of each other so there's still um, room on the items are not so close to the zipper where it's going to be difficult to um zip so as you can see is zipped really well even though there's a lot of items and you can see still like even though i have a lot of items it's still soft and squishy so that means most of the items are right here on the bottom and a little bit on the back but it's still flexible so yeah it fits a whole lot of items it'll go a little bit more um let's see i have my chanel hand cream and this is the egg shape so let's put that there and <laughs> it fits wow i i'm not gonna lie i'm starting to like this a little bit more than my louis vuitton East nano because this my louis vuitton East nano it can fit a lot i'm not gonna lie but i like how i still feel like there's more i can put inside one con though i have to say is because of these types of makeup bags or makeup pouches because you can get this completely cheaper. I know a lot of stores have their own. I'll put pictures on the screen. But one thing I don't like about these type of pouches, which why I never got it before, is because you can't physically see everything that you have inside. Whereas compared to the Nice Nano, you train it really well. The top can go all the way to um, the back. So you can physically see everything that you have. Where compared to the Dior Beauty pouch, you can't physically see everything that you have so if i need to find my lip product since i put that on since i put that inside from the beginning i'm gonna have to take everything out to find it or i'm just gonna have to be digging to find it whereas this i can physically see it more quickly and i can just get it in and out so that's one thing that i don't like or i'm just not used to when it comes to these types of pouches because i'm used to my niece nano being um, all the way pushed back so I can physically see everything that I have available so I can just go in and out without you know taking things out and struggling for it so that's definitely one con I will have to say when it compares to these types of makeup pouches compared to the makeup pouches that are all the way um open that you can open all the way so yeah similar to my niece nano I definitely think that the Dior beauty pouch can be very versatile you can use it for makeup, skincare, um, travel essentials. You can use it for jewelry. You can use it for your medication. You can use it for um, your charging accessories. Um, the list can definitely go on and I can't wait to explore that with you all. So once again, here is a 360 look of the beauty pouch. And then I'm also gonna insert videos or clips of this pouch in different lighting. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed those video clips of the beauty pouch and different lighting. I hope you enjoyed the video overall. Like I said, if I find a link for this beauty pouch, I will put it in the description box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I love to chat with you. Also, let me know if you have this item in your collection. How do you use it? Do you think it's worth having? Or also, is this on your wish list? I love to hear from you all. Definitely check out my video on my Louis Vuitton Nice Nano if you also want to know more about that item as well. Also check me out on Instagram. I'm very active on there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and till next time. Bye!